Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Thursday, June 25th. This is Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And we're here for your morning devotions on this Thursday morning. And we're going to be doing uh, the morning devotion on page 295. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory Glory be to to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. Amen. And Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us this morning. Okay, this morning we're going to be singing hymn 485, Long Before the World is Waking, and we'll do verses 1 and 5. Long before the world is waking, morning mist on Galilee, from the shore as dawn is breaking, Jesus calls across the sea. Hails the boat of weary men, bids them cast their nets again. Morning breaks and Jesus meets us, feeds and comforts pardon still. As his faithful friends he greets us, partners of his work and will. All our days on every shore, Christ is ours forevermore. Okay, and our reading today is going to be from John chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that they might but that night they caught nothing. Just as Jesus was breaking bread, or rather just as Jesus was Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the shore, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, you will find some. So they cast it. And now they were not able to haul it in because of the great quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garments, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came to the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire in place, with fish laid on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. So there are these series of resurrection appearances that Jesus makes because uh, he's got 40 days with the disciples following the resurrection. Uh, to teach them a, a number of things. And, and so you have this uh, notion today where Jesus tells them to cast the nets, just as we saw in Luke chapter 5, where Jesus tells Peter to cast the nets and they find some fish. And so we're kind of going back to the beginning here a little bit. They know it's Jesus. Peter gets all excited because, remember, Peter uh, has the most to be forgiven of. He has the most to be grateful for um, since he denied Jesus three times. And Uh, His moment of being able to affirm Jesus now is is coming up. So he throws off his garments and dives into the sea and and swims out uh, onto the land to to meet his Lord. So it's a a great time. It's It's a sentimental time in many ways. But it's also a time in which we continue to rejoice in the good news of the resurrection. 
So let's continue now back in our hymnal on 295 with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Thanks indeed. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us this morning? All right, so some things to be aware of for this weekend. Um, on Saturday, we will be having women's coffee hour at 9 in the morning, and that will be at the Pagel House. Um, I also have changed Sunday school time on Sundays now that we are meeting in person, and uh, Mrs. Rebecca Lastman is doing Sunday school for the youth again. We'll be doing younger children's Sunday school through Zoom and in person at 930 so we've moved that just a little bit. So just to be aware of that. And if you're still considering being a volunteer for our VBS, would like to help or even help decorate, we'll be decorating after church on Sunday. Um, so please see me if you'd like to help um, in any other way during VBS. And we do have a work day coming up this Saturday at uh, 8 a.m. If you'd like to come out to the church, uh, there'll be a number of things uh, to which we can do around the campus. So hope you can come up. Uh, you know, there can be weeding in the flower beds, some indoor work. A um, couple of other things here and there. So we would welcome your participation and attendance, and we'll have work to do for people of all ages. Also, today is a very special day. It is the 490th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession, uh, which was the first time that the Lutherans were allowed to publicly present their uh, our faith to um, uh, to a, a gathering of of princes and leaders and uh, religious authorities and uh, secular leaders in the city of Augsburg in Germany. So uh, it, it was quite the, the momentous occasion, uh, of an extremely uh, important milestone for our faith. Uh, it was uh, June 25th, um, 1430, I'm sorry, 1530. So 10 years from now, we'll celebrate the 500th anniversary of this, and it'll be a big deal. Uh, not quite as big as what the Reformation was in 1517, uh, but yet still something to be very proud of. So. Uh, we continue to uh, be about ministry here at Holy Shepherd, and we thank you for all of your help and participation. We look forward to seeing you again this Sunday, as well as tomorrow morning, for our next set of daily devotions.